The Mobile Money Agent Network comprises four associations. These include the Mobile Money Advocacy Group, Northern Momo Agents, ABAG, and Mobile Money Agents Association of Ghana. These associations have threatened to embark on an industrial action following some telecommunication networks' delay in payment of their monthly commissions. They say all efforts to get stakeholders to address their concerns have proved futile. Work that agents will do and at the end of the month, commissions that are due them, agent will have to wait. It has to take several weeks, several months before they are paid their commissions. It is something that is really, really getting so much on our nerves. We have tried everything possible to draw their business's attention to um, our concerns, but it appears that nothing is being done about it. Should the status quo remain the same, then in the next seven days, we expect a massive industrial action within the space of the financial inclusion, that is the mobile money ecosystem. We expect a massive industrial action because agents are not really happy. The group has also demanded an increase in the cap in commission from 1,000 cities to 3,000 cities. They also proposed that cash out commission shares be pegged at 50%. Speaking to City News, the General Secretary of the Mobile Money Agents Association of Ghana, Evans Otumfo, says if stakeholders do not address their concerns by April 10, 2023, they will begin charging fees for some free services they render to their customers. Every service that is rendered at the mobile agent uh, points, which currently it is done at zero fee or at no cost. Henceforth, those services are going to be assessed at a fee. So if it is money that you are depositing in your wallet, we will have to apply a fee to it. If it is money you are transferring, we have to apply a fee to it. If it is cashing out, we we'll have to apply a fee to it. Once the service providers are not in position or are unable to pay timely the commissions that are due in, um, we are left with no option than to ensure that we apply these actions so that we will uh, be able to make our services accessible or available to consumers. Meanwhile, in an interaction with some Momo agents, they expressed mixed reactions on the delay in payments of their commissions. In the report about the, the commissions, we, we don't know the issue, but we have realized there are so much delay in the, in the commission. And then we, we call to, we normally call to confirm whether the, the commissions are to be like that to come in or not. Because we know that the payment comes every 15 and half of every month. And if it doesn't come, it becomes a worry to us. We have to call the office to ask whether it is true that um, the report and um, the money is is delayed. We know what is going on, we know the issues at that time. Because almost sometimes I'm trying to imagine, most especially MTN. Um, even we almost have been there from maybe at 12, maybe at 15 weeks, or for every month. We so young, they be at 17 to 26. Then later in the month, they may be 27, the rest they will pay it. So we then get any problem. So when when I'm there in 25, I must say the TV about 27 days. I must send it down.